Hey guys, it's uh, it's Justin from Bloomberg. Um, I had one for Kareen and, and one for Kirby. Um, Kareen, uh, on the meeting tomorrow, um, is that a signal that uh, that the president has and negotiators have gotten close on a deal for Ukraine aid and uh, immigration changes, uh, or is this kind of a, a chance to them for them to work out the final details, or are we just not there uh, yet at all? And then. Kirby, I was wondering if you could talk about kind of the state of the situation with uh, the Houthis. Obviously, we saw more attacks in the last couple of days and uh, a response today by the U.S. Is this a signal that the first round of, of um, strikes by the U.S. and the U.K. didn't achieve their desired effects? Uh, are you looking at all at kind of expanding our effort to a new target set using special forces at all, any sort of expansion, or do you still kind of see this um, as headed in the direction that you had hoped for? Hey, Kirby, you want to take that question? Your question? Yeah. I, I just wanted to defer to you since the first one with you, but I'm happy <laughs> no. to do that. No, um, I appreciate it. And Justin, I'll, I'll, uh, we're just going to let Kirby go, and then I'll certainly will I'll answer that question once Kirby's done uh, with the Middle East pieces. Thanks. Sure. Okay. Um, so, look, Justin, uh, you're right. We uh, we have seen some additional um, lower uh, lower scale uh, re- retaliatory strikes uh, by the Houthis in the last few days. Um, uh, much uh, smaller than uh, uh, than what we had seen before, and none of them uh, effective. And I would tell you, you know, we fully anticipated uh, when we launched the, that salvo uh, on Friday night that uh, that the Houthis would probably conduct some retaliatory strikes. So I um, I, I, uh, I think it's it's too soon to call this some sort of a trend that would lead us to believe that we didn't have the a good effect with those strikes. We believe that we did have a good effect with those strikes in terms of disrupting and degrading their capability uh, uh, to conduct military uh, offensive operations. As for what the next turn is here, I simp- I won't get ahead of potential military operations one way or the other. Um, uh, as you saw today, uh, we took additional strikes, knocking out four ballistic missiles that we believe were prepped and ready to be launched from Yemen, uh, took them out before they could do that. So uh, we have said before, we'll say it again, we stand ready to defend our interests, our sailors, our ships, and that of merchant shipping um, as required. Um, we're not looking for a war. We're not looking to expand this. Uh, uh, Houthis have uh, a choice to make, uh, and uh, they still have time to make the right choice, which is to stop these reckless attacks. 